Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, please hit subscribe. Today I'm joined by a very special guest, Grace. This is the second video that Grace has been in. If you haven't seen the first video, then be sure to check it out. I will link it in the cards, which are on this side. I get it wrong every time. They'll be in the cards. We did a video on Grace's experience on the Erdang pre-audition course. And this video is going to be on her experience on the GSA summer school. Um, so you did GSA summer school in 2018? Yeah. So when you were just finished year 11 going into year 12. Yeah, just on my GCSEs, I was 16. I have the same list of questions for this video as I did for the Erdang video, so it can help you guys kind of compare them easier if we're talking about the same topics. And I'm just gonna ask Grace them again and she will let you guys know about her experience. Okay, so for GSA Summer School, what was your application process that you had to do? Okay, so it was very similar to Erdang. Um, you went on the GSA website and you went to courses like you were gonna to apply to a normal course. And there was a drop down and it just said summer schools. And you click on it and it sends you to that little like shop mm. and you just buy your course. You put in your name, your email, and they just email you a little receipt to say you've got it. And yeah, very simple. Did you have to apply quite far in advance? Like, yeah, like, that was what was up quite early. I have well, I was very eager. I applied in January. <laughs> but these courses I, are so popular. Yeah, so. I would seriously consider like booking in advance because there's yeah. only two weeks of summer school. Oh, okay. For That's the cool. whole summer, and I was in week one, so I would really like my course was full completely. Yeah. There were two groups in my course, they were both full. Yeah. So if you want to do it, make sure to plan ahead yeah. and know when you want to do it. A full preparation for the course. Did they send you anything? Did you have to prepare anything? What did you have to do? So because it was a, in comparison to Erdang, which was a pre-audition course, it was only a summer school. Um, it was, I went just to get a taste for the place for auditions later. Summer schools in general are a little yeah. bit less serious. They're relaxed and yeah. they're just about enjoying yourself really. So there wasn't much I did to prepare. I had no idea what I was going into. <laughs> I didn't know if I was going to be the worst or the best. So I stretched, that's what I did. And I did, for like, I just, like, because it's smack bang in the summer, you can't let it go. So I just, like, kept up, like, singing and stretching. That's all I did to prepare. Cool. So, like, whereas in comparison to Erdang, they sent yeah. you stuff you had to prepare, which yeah. we spoke about in the other video. What was the age range on the course? Because I assume it was, what was well, it Well, actually, younger? there was, I mean, there was, like, applications to apply from as young as, like, I think, eight. But they put you in groups. Okay. So my group was 16 to 17 year olds. It was oh, called okay. like teens or something. Yeah. I think the other one was like eight to 15 or something like that. So if you are a bit younger, you will be working with people a lot younger than you, I can speak. <laughs> but my course was 16 to 17 year olds. I know that we did it the same time as the 18 to 18 up people. Cause okay. we watched their like little show showcase thing at yeah. the end. Um, but yeah, you will be with, the if you're my age, you will be with the people that the same age. For the cost of the course, because this is a big thing that people always worry about, because these courses yeah. are generally not super cheap and not everyone can afford to do them. Yeah. So you need to take not only the course, but you need to take into account your accommodation as well. Yeah. And the course by itself, it sounds a lot of money. It was between 350 to 400. But if you look at all summer courses, like they're drama or not, of. they're kind of the same. Like that one was pretty reasonable for what you get out of it. You still, you get like, I think we did nine to five every single oh, day. Oh wow, that's for really, five really days. Good. So you did, you got a lot of contact time for what you were paying for. And I, it, I think it was very reasonable yeah. for what it was. Um, and you think the thing that cost us a lot was the accommodation. accommodation. My whole family, because we live in Dubai, we go back to the summer. Back we go to back the summer? To we go back to England for the summer and yeah. my whole family comes. That's me, my sister, my mum and dad. So that's accommodation for four people. In Guildford, which isn't cheap. Yeah, and it's their holiday. And the only thing I would say is, if you're bringing your whole family, I think it costs us like a thousand pounds for the yeah. whole, we were there the whole week, like not you just You guys stayed days. in an apartment as well. We stayed in, oh, in yeah, not in a hotel, we had an apartment. But it's There just, is a holiday in, in Guildford, which yeah. is walking, mm, walking distance. Well, mine was walking distance. It turned out she's 30 minutes, but we're not gonna get into that. <laughs> and um, also if that was only because you were under 16 though. Yeah. If you're over 16, is it 16 and over? 
No, it's 17. 17 and, and over. You can use their halls. Yeah, you can stay in the and uh, the University yeah. of Surrey halls. And my friends who stayed in their halls had such a good time. They were living their best life. They rolled out of bed five minutes before class started and they were living their life. Anyway. So maybe if you are considering doing this course and you're 16, it might possibly be a good idea to wait until yeah. you're 17. Or get in hindsight. travel lodge. <laughs> yeah, because there's a holiday in Guildford. But... I suppose for the four of you, it probably wouldn't have been much different staying in a hotel. No. And it meant you could cook your own food and stuff in yeah. an apartment. Yeah. On the actual course, was it teachers from the school or was it external teachers? Do you know? Yeah. So I know the singing and the acting teacher were definitely, they taught on like Maybe, undergraduate yeah. courses. I had Mitch, Mitch Harper, for dance, and I think he taught Saturday schools. Yeah, he's not, I don't think, a full-time GSA teacher, but I, he taught a few classes for us He teaches we at foundation. GSA, but he's not he's a like GSA a teacher. teacher. Yeah, he was lovely. He's he really great. Um, what classes did you actually do throughout the week? Because I feel like your timetable was a bit more varied, was it, at GSA um, than Erdine? You said you did that project. Yeah, thing, which it was is a bit different. Yeah, I can't remember if it was the same every single day, but we had the same classes. You had four classes, you had acting, dancing, singing, and then you had project. So we start, we'll start with acting. For me, it wasn't the kind of acting I'm into, but that is not to say it was bad. Opinion. That's just my opinion because yeah. I am very, I don't know, I'm not a big drama y person. I like acting. Like alternative acting. Yeah, not that's not me. Life. I'm more of big fat musical theatre yeah. acting um, and that because it's an acting school that is what they're good at that's what yeah. they are so I mean, it's weird because in some I feel like GSA veers more towards acting school yeah. out of the musical theatre yeah, school but it's not Raja or Lambda yes the, the acting there it was very like contemporary so we did a lot of we did loads of like warm up exercises oh, okay. and confidence like things and, as well, and yeah stuff. and people who are into your whole acting thing you would love it like honestly <laughs> it's great but me I was getting a bit like antsy like i just want to do like some script reading or something yeah, like monologues. that yeah but that's it, like, it just Personal wasn't me opinion. yeah exactly singing was relaxed don't worry if you're scared about singing in front of people they don't make you we oh, really? did no we did some we did some beautiful harmony work we did song of purple summer oh that's and so it was good beautiful. you did it was so well. great yeah it was very heavily based on ensemble work i don't think which in, in the case of a summer school is good, but if you're looking more to prepare for auditions, I would it's go, not. Yeah, you, you want to really be pushed. Need. But it was it was so much. If you're going for fun, it was great yeah. fun. Like I really enjoyed learning all the harmonies and stuff. So that was which singing. is good practice as well. 100%. Yeah. <clears throat> and dance, dance. Was it jazz? It was a bit of everything, to be honest. <laughs> like I don't really know what it was. Um, <laughs> it was great fun. Um, I really enjoyed it. And again, they're very very aware that people are here to have fun and not because they're like looking to audition necessarily so yeah. um it was great fun people were pushed but not too much and you said you felt you were one of the strongest I, dancers yeah, i am not a dancer GSA by any stretch of the imagination but i was one of the strongest dancers when yeah. i went there and it was great fun we, we really enjoyed it and the th great thing that a lot of dance people like don't look forward it was musical theatre dancing we did okay. some musical theatre songs That's it wasn't good. like a jazz class or a ballet class it was musical theatre dancing which i really enjoyed and then we had project. project. I'm still to this day not sure what it was meant to be, but the first couple of days we had it with, um, well, actually, I think I remember you had it with, first thing we had it with Andrew, and we did some more like workshoppy, like acting things. Mm. Then the second day we did some more singing. It's kind of like whichever teacher you got. And then the third day, by this point, was it kind of like performance practice? Yeah, kind of a little bit. It was a little bit performance, a little bit top up of what you've already done. Okay. And then by the, Towards the end of the week, you work towards like to like a showcase. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it was really nice. And we did, I think we did four things. And your parents could watch it? Yeah, my parents came to watch it. And towards the end of it, project was used for like extra rehearsal time, if you will. So by by day four, you were literally just rehearsing for your yeah. showcase. There was no like deviation between the classes yeah. anymore. Um, and I'll just talk a little bit about what the showcase was. We did an acting thing, which was a bit like weird alternative drama i think we read like a script about a baseball game or something and everyone got a line and we all had to do stuff and it was cool but it wasn't my thing um singing we did two like musical theatery things yeah. and one we just sang and that okay. was song of purple summer we just sang and then two we did from the weird which was my favorite and then dance you did stuff to go with the two other musical okay, theater songs cool. so you did like four things and it was great and you got to watch like the older people and the other oh, group nice. and it was just really nice so in terms of audition preparation obviously this course wasn't geared towards 
audition prep in comparison yeah. to the Erdang one. Would you say it prepared you at all for auditions? Did they give you any heads up about auditions? What was yeah? Kind so of vibe? the first thing that I really wanted to go for was to get a feel of the place yeah which and is so important yeah and it was lovely like everyone was so friendly the most distinct thing I took away from it was talking to Mitch the dance teacher mm -hmm. and he told you basically like a lot of people weren't confident in dance and he was like look I don't really care if you're confident or not I want to know how you are to work with as a person and That's he told really us all about that sort of stuff and like working in the industry like no one he said no one wants to work with a slice of brown bread That's Very what he kept true. saying. And it was helpful for little things that you picked up like that. It was basically, again, the more you put in, the more you got out. Mm -hmm. So the more you spoke and the more you, like, Ask asked questions, yeah. the more you got out of it. I think that's the main thing with all these yeah, courses. Definitely. If you throw yourself into it and ask as many people as many questions as you can, you're going to get so much out of it. But if you shy in the background, then yeah. it's kind of going to be a bit of a waste of your time. And make yourself known. Like, I was mm -hmm. like, maybe I'm going to phone the door. Yeah, and I was, like, yeah, I was, like, chatting to all the teachers and making myself really, like, one of those people who just tries, like, yeah. is really enthusiastic regardless of whether I'm rubbish or not. Yeah. So they really, like, that's like people who do stuff like that. So it is good for that as well. Okay, so that is it for this video. I hope this has helped you guys out. And again, if you haven't seen our one on the Erdang pre-audition course, be sure to check it out. It will be in the cards and also in the description box down below. Thank you to Grace for helping with me with these videos. And we really hope it's helped you guys out because we feel like it's stuff that we yeah, would have found useful definitely. to know. I was so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, as always, leave them in the comments. I will try and answer them. And if not, I will send them Grace's way and she will try and answer them for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will hopefully see you soon. Bye!